This is problem five, another quadratic equation. The way I know it's a quadratic equation, highest power of the variable is two. That's always our clue. We have the quadratic equation. And this equation is ready for us to start solving. We solve by factoring, and we need to have the terms of the polynomial on one side, zero on the other side, in order to apply this factoring technique for solving a quadratic equation. Remember, step one of factoring is to factor any common factor that we find in every term. And in this case, when I look at the numbers, both of those numbers have five as a factor, and both terms have x to the first power, at least, as a factor. So I can factor out 5x. When I divide 5x squared by 5x, that just leaves me x to the first power. When I divide minus 25x by 5x, that leaves me minus 5. And the way we can always check our factorization to see if we were right is we could multiply back through. And if we multiply back through, distributing 5x times each of those terms, we would get back to the 5x squared minus 25x. I can't factor x minus 5 any further. When we get down to the point where we have the first power on the variable, we're pretty much done with any factoring we can do. Now, the product of this quantity times that quantity has to equal 0. So either this quantity is 0 or that quantity is 0. And those quantities only become 0 based upon what I put in place of x. So I ask myself, what could I put for x here that when I multiplied it times 5 would give me 0? Well, that's a pretty obvious one, isn't it? x would be 0. If x was 0, 5 times 0 would make 0. Then how about this factor? What could I put in place of x? that would make this quantity become 0? Well, it'd be if x was 5, wouldn't it? 5 minus 5 would make 0. And those are my two solutions to that quadratic equation.